injecting current and our membrane at rest with all of our different ions working. So I'm just going to draw a, here's our cell and here are some channels that could be sodium and potassium. Um, and when we're at rest, we had talked about the electrical sort of buildup due to the different permeabilities and the overall movement of our ions. Mm -hmm. And so here's our negative 60 millivolt um, membrane mm -hmm. that's charged. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the fluxes mm -hmm. that are in effect. Mm -hmm. So first we have, so just at rest, we have our potassium and our sodium, which mm -hmm. are what we're going to focus on. Mm -hmm. Um, due to the concentration gradient with this inside and this outside the cell, mm -hmm. we've got our potassium concentration flux. flux. So I'm, all of the blue is going to be for potassium. Okay. And that's a fairly large flux. Mm -hmm. And then our electrical gradient flux is going to be smaller. Mm -hmm. And so our net flux is going to be sort of the subtraction of the two. Mm -hmm. And so I draw that at about, yes. I can still do net fluxes. There you go. Okay. So that J net potassium. So that's our, our overall potassium flux. Mm -hmm. And for Sodium, mm -hmm. we've got uh, sodium. We've got our concentration flux. flux, which is smaller because of permeabilities. Mm -hmm. And we've got our electrical flux, mm -hmm. which is about the same size. And that makes, let me draw it above it this time, mm -hmm. a sort of overall flux this way. Mm -hmm. And what has to be true about those net fluxes? These should be equal, right? And because opposite. We're, yeah, because and we're at a sort of steady state. We're not changing our... Right. Amount. So membrane potential isn't changing. That means the net flux of current in and out has to be zero. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So now let's inject some positive charges. Sounds good. So put an electrode inside. Very sharp. <laughs> Positive charges start flowing into the inside of the cell, and what happens? Well, they land on the membrane first, mm -hmm. and they'll neutralize some of these negative charges. Good. Um, so let's talk about what that does to our like fluxes. Yeah. Good. Okay. Maybe we want to put a set over here. Okay. So. Let's just draw sort of what we started with okay. first. Okay. So there's concentration, electrical, and the net. net. And then there's net. Mm, yep, yep. Equal and opposite. Right. Thank the you. opposite part's very important. Right. And that's due to easier to visualize mm -hmm. if we do it this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our concentration and our electrical. Good. So when we inject these positive charges and they neutralize sort of the membrane or bits of the membrane, mm -hmm. our electrical um, fluxes for both of these should decrease, right? right? Because right. we with less negative charges on the inside, there'll be less of a pull into the cell. Correct. So I'm just going to sort of erase a part of this. Good. And then what happens? Now that should change our, our net fluxes. Mm -hmm. And this one should get smaller. Mm -hmm. And this one should get bigger. Right. Because there's less of a sort of resistance electrically. So now there's an imbalance. How is that 
how, how are we going to deal with that? Well, once this is completely charged, mm -hmm. we know that if here's our it should be in black probably. Yes. Um, here's our membrane mm -hmm. potential. Mm -hmm. It takes its its time to charge, but then it reaches a time when it's all charged. That's right. And that's a time where it's not changing. That's right. So that means what can we say about the net fluxes in and out? That these should be equal and opposite. And yet you've shown that there's a gap. So mm -hmm. what fills in the gap? Well, we need something that's sort of pulling the sodiums in. Or injecting positive charges mm -hmm. into. Oh, wait, we're injecting positive charges. And that's charges what we're doing. We're injecting positive charges. So, so let's put that in. Ah, so once we do that, those are the injected current currents. Now we're, again, that's why it's a new steady state. Mm -hmm. That's why we can stay at this as long as we're injecting these positive Precisely. currents. Precisely. And now if we <clears throat> turn off the current, do by doing that. Mm -hmm. That would get rid of this. That goes away. And now we have an imbalance. So what's, how is the imbalance going to well, happen? Well, there are going to be more potassiums flowing out right. than sodiums flowing in. Correct. What's that going to do? The charge separation that across the membrane? Would build up more charges across the membrane. Right. Make it more negative. And what does it do to the electrical? That would sort of reestablish our previous uh-huh and there you are and now the net fluxes are back to where they were and they're in balance it should be smaller again but okay so as long as our net fluxes are balanced mm -hmm. we're in a sort of steady state that's right and that's sort of shown by the Mm -hmm. time it takes to charge or to discharge. And how long does it take to charge up and charge down? This is in milliseconds. Okay, and that slow rise is due to the what feature of the membrane? The capacitance. That's right, the lipid bilayer. Mm -hmm. And then that steady um, new voltage is due to what feature? This steady new yeah, voltage? Yeah, the steady voltage. It's due to the injected current. Right, but it's also the flow of current is now going through what? The membrane you said has is going through the uh, channels. That's so right, this through is the, the ion channels, and then after again you discharge the capacitor, and again you're going through the resting ion channels. Okay. Good.